Welcome to the LuxRiot VMS video tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the process of setting up recording quotas. Let's begin on clicking server in the top menu, then highlight selected server, then tasks. Then select and click the menu item recording properties. This will then bring up recording properties dialog box. This is where you will set quotas, priorities, retention, and view drive statistics. Let's select and highlight the C drive. After selecting the C drive, you can set a quota and change recording priority. Please note that it is always recommended to have the C drive, which contains the operating system, separate from the recording drive. But if it is a last resort, you can always set a quota on the C drive for archive recordings. Now you can select Q as a recording drive. Over here in the bottom, you can put down the quota for allowed storage space for each hard drive. We also recommend setting the quota not higher than 90% to allow optimal space recycling. You can add an extra hard drive with one click. To add network storage device, click Add button. Now you will get the Add Network Storage Path dialog box. Please specify an external location such as a network share to use as a remote storage for LuxRide DVR server archive data. You can type in a path where it says Path. After typing a path or browsing for a location, you can then type in a username. Then please type in a password for that username for access to that share. When finished typing in all credentials, please click OK button. Now you will see in the list that we have added the network storage device. You can also remove a network share by highlighting the share and clicking Remove button. Now we will click on the next tab, which is Duration Quota. In the Duration Quota tab, you can use the controls below to set a global recording duration quota. Selected quota will be enforced on all media devices and storage drives. You can click on the checkbox to enable global duration quota management. Duration can only be calculated in days. Now you can enter a number of days in the storage duration box. Now let's move on to retention. Please click on the retention tab. You can use the retention tab to recover disk space. Please click on the checkbox enable cleanup hours. Now please click on the statistics tab. After clicking on the Statistics tab, it will give you a Request in Progress pop-up box. Please be patient because it is synchronizing with the server. After synchronizing with the server is complete, it will show you statistics. You can also click on Expand button to expand into a bigger view. In Expanded view, you can see full statistics for each camera. By clicking View in the menu, you can see Storage Streams by Source or Storage Streams by Location. This now concludes the process of setting up recording quotas.